of being close I'm afraid of letting go I'm afraid of everything I don't know Trying to make it out of home Sometimes I get lonely I feel lonely I get lonely sometimes I get a little lost in my mind Don't know why Sometimes I get lonely I feel lonely I get lonely sometimes Don't know why we all feel lonely sometimes Sometimes I get lonely I feel lonely Whoever sees this, hit subscribe right now. Get free treasure. It's a golden opportunity. What's going on, YouTube? It's Winnerly Knoxville, and we are back. We are back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, those of you who follow my social media, you know that the other day, I went for a walk, and I ran into a, uh, a random dude who goes by the name of Ren. So I don't want to uh, give too much away because everything's kind of top secret and classified right now. But uh, I thought it would be very fitting to dive back into the world of Ren. And this right here has been highly, highly requested. It's a duet between Ren and Chinchilla. And this is How to Be Me. One. One, two, three, one. Oh. just that little break point right there when he just stopped the strumming and they were just locked in with that kind of synergy and that chemistry and then he came back through with the strumming and then they just kind of carried on but this little moment right here i don't know it's just really dope like the the visual and cueing chemistry of this yeah you see that pause and we've talked about this before what's really dope about these sessions that ren does is that we are watching art and music be created right there in the moment of the video it's not like most music videos where yeah it's okay if you mess up a little bit because you're going to take a cut here a cut there no the sound that is created via these videos is the product that we are hearing within the audio that's why you know you hear sort of that white noise you hear ren as he cues it in as he whispers before they come in with the sound and i think what's really dope is that it's just like it's just creating a new way for music and art to be expressed and it's just like a new sort of stimulation that you don't get from most artists videos in terms of what they're doing and i love it because it's so much harder it's so much more difficult to do these sort of one take live acoustic videos where you really have to not only think about how the visuals are lining up but now you also think how the audio sounds and if you have everything mic'd up right to catch everything that's happening because you're going to take that audio and that's the audio that you're going to mix and that you're going to put out and release with this just such a dope conceptualization of it all but also the devil is in the details and there's so much detail that goes into this into this end product and this execution which is something that i was lucky enough to witness not so long ago but i don't want to give too much away right now Voices in my head. Wow. I've been talking to the dead and the fear baptized me. My kingdom turned. What a haunting delivery there. I like sort of the the strain in his voice, just kind of the 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 drop down expression. It it feels like we're there in his bed with him as he's like hearing these different voices and that line talking to the dead i don't know there's there's thinking like he's kind of crazy he's sick in his mind feeling like a mental patient which he's represented before in his bed which is a place that's supposed to be symbolic of security and protection and, and being able to get away from the world but in this case it's ironic that the place where you're supposed to feel the safest is where you feel the least safe and where you have to deal with so much and then speaking to the deadlines goes deeper for me because you wonder if he's like praying or talking to the actual dead you know to to joe and to 
ones that he's lost and just trying to deal with this and wade through these emotions. And again, the timing of this, when Chinchilla just cuts back in, it's haunting. Ties me, my king. Right Don't there. Turn to dust. That was dope too, because he came in like really soft. My kingdom turn. And then she came in just a lot smoother and higher. And I'm telling you, man, I, I love again just the juxtaposition of their voices. And I also love how we started. I had no lyrics to break down for the first, what, like minute of this song. It's all just feeling. It's all just setting the tone, just setting the emotional range for what we're about to experience. It kind of just build up that tension and that drama. It's me, my king, don't turn to dust. And I watched all my riches rust. Have I lost the mightest touch? Or do sad eyes blind me? Over and over. Or do sad eyes blind me? Wow, I love the poetry behind that. And even, you know, sort of having Midas's touch of gold, but in this case, like, the kingdom is crumbling. All of my riches are turning to rust. Yeah, I love the poetic symbolism of that, of, of your world just falling apart around you. And, and once you once had and once thought was golden and shined brightly, now all of a sudden it's got a new rusting, it's got a new corruption to it, a new way to look at it. Eyes. Blind me Over and over we go Over the hills and the valleys below Oh, and it follows me, follows me home And it suffocates me Oh, I can't breathe I said, oh There's that stop again. And you know, it's funny, like just these little noises, like the whistles, the hums, the things that Ren does and also Chinchilla accompanying him. Like it just makes me think of sort of folk music as well. I don't know. There's just this raw spoken word nature to it all. And it's so gripping, especially with the camera because you've got just, you know, the natural handheld shake as it kind of comes in and we get like really close to them. Like it really just pulls you in to the environment of wherever they are. And those last lines, man, those hit deeper. Forgot how to be me. You know, what is self-identity? And you know, we may think we're one way and then something happens in our life, a, a tragedy occurs and it just kind of shakes our existence our kingdom crumples before us and as everything around us falls apart we fall apart kind of with it and we kind of forget what our identity is in location to the world and in reference to the things we're experiencing i don't know you can interpret that in so many ways man i love this already <laughs> Chinchilla's got a great tone. Ooh, I don't feel safe in these holes. There are bruises on the walls. There are bodies in the floors. And they breathe so loudly. I wish I... There are bruises on the walls. Like, you know, walls shouldn't have bruises. Again, the poetic expression of that and then bodies in the floor just makes you think with talking and hearing dead voices line like it could be literal bodies and lives of friends that he's lost or it could just be you know losing perception of reality and having all these skeletons in his closet and all these past demons and ghosts to deal with and i love how close they are to the mic like ren there when he was sort of dropped down that tone like you could hear just like every kind of breath i mean you could like just hear the saliva in his tongue right it's like that close and just that raw just really grips you bodies in the floors and they breathe so loudly i wish i could move get up and walk right out this tomb 
Do our saviors die too soon oh. for my sins? So round me over and over we go. Wow. I love it's like a wave isn't it the way that this song is like there's just great moments when things kind of drop out and we just kind of bring you down here but then it just starts to build like a wave on the horizon it just rises and rises and when it crescendos it just really escalates to another level in terms of their tone their voices and how much stronger he plays the guitar and, and yeah it really is captivating man it just grips you and that line, do our saviors die too soon? You know the saying, like, the good die young? And there were saviors, and then the sins surrounding them. It just really ties in some of this religious imagery. And, you know, we tend to turn to religion when we've gone through, we're suffered immense loss, and we're trying to find a greater meaning, and we're trying to find some type of light within the darkness for our past. <laughs> Oh, and hallelujah again, like singing in the church, more of the religious themes and imagery. Now. Decision late in the night mm. that stayed with me for all of my life. I miss you so. What? When he. <sighs> wow. When he gave up the fight, a quick decision in the night. Yeah, I mean, that's that's Joe, isn't it? That's that quick decision in the night, taking that leap, ultimately. And it's stuck with him for the rest of his life. And, you know, when you, I think when you go through tragedy, right, especially when you're younger, you know, you have this childhood or this teenage innocence. But when you lose someone so close and so dear, your your life just shifts like that. And that innocence is gone now you know you 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 go from here to all of a sudden you, you're an adult overnight literally and you can never get that innocence back because now your whole world's been just kind of rocked and shattered and and i love the sentiment too of forgetting and, and kind of losing yourself forgetting how to be you because i think you know our friends our family the people that are close to us they help to bring out our personalities, they bring out our colors, they, they bring out the best in us. So when we lose some of those people, in a way, we're not just losing them, you know, we lose ourselves because they're, they're in our hearts, they're a part of us, but they also bring out our characters. So I can definitely see the sentiment, especially with those last lines now of, you know, like losing someone so close and so dear that not only have you lost them, but you forever lost yourself, man. I mean, that was, that was beautiful, but it was haunting. It was romantic, but it was tragic. And it just hummed with so much soul and emotion and so gripping. And this is what true musicianship is. This is what true artistry is. Ren and Chinchilla with another amazing piece.
Steve Knox Ill certified. Hope you guys like today's video. Listen here at the end, obviously enjoying the content. Do me a huge favor, support the channel directly. It really, really does go a long way. Subscribe, notifications on. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive. This is one only Knox Hill. You know I'll catch you again.